Cleveland-based band Terrible Parade. Thanks for being with us, Alan. Thanks, Trace. Now, it's funny to note, or interesting at least, to note that you're one of the very first people that I met on the Cleveland music scene when I came mm -hmm. back to town four years ago. Yeah. Since that time, a lot has changed and a lot's happened with you and with Terrible Parade. Okay. What are some of the more recent developments? Okay, well, um, first of all, we're back to a trio, which is what we started out as. Um, the music's changing, thus, you know, simply because the trio has uh, different ways of relating to each other than a four-piece. Um, Franklin Basut, who is the band's original bass player, and Paul Strachan, who's been the drummer with us pretty much all along, are the other members of the band. And we're working on new material. We're also, I've also been in the studio remixing uh, earlier Terrible Parade material to release on a long CD in the next few months. It'll probably be on St. Valentine's Records. And that gives us an opportunity to kind of clean house, get the past out of the way, and move into the future. Now, I, I want to ask you a little bit about your perception of the local music scene, being a veteran of that scene. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the music that you're currently working on. It, from what you've told me, it seems like it's a little more close, it's a little closer to your heart, a little yeah. more raw, maybe? Um, well, I've always been very passionate about the music, and I think that's why when people come out and see us or when they listen to the record, maybe that sticks with people a little bit longer than everything else. Uh, just through circumstances, I've been playing mostly by myself the last couple of years, so the material I've been writing works that way best. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be doing some recording in uh, New York State the next couple months here, and uh, it'll it's it's a bit more minimal. It's uh, a little bit you know a lot of it sounds it it's all terrible parade songs, but uh, it'll just be mostly acoustic guitar, some bass, some drums. Uh, just the departure, you know. You've fought the local music battle for years, and you've dealt with it in your own way, as yeah, we all have. Yeah, yeah. From where I sit, I see something going on, and I'm real curious to hear if you as a musician in that world sense it too. It seems to me that there's been recently a bit of a reawakening or... Um, awareness or acceptance, a new acceptance to original talent that hadn't yeah. been there for the last, oh, five, six years. Is that, do you feel that at all? To some extent, yeah. I mean, first of all, there's Perubu, which we were talking about earlier. They're back, and uh, they're great. And I think people are more, a little bit more open to looking at that sector of Cleveland original music. Also, it's just become evident that certain bands in town or certain people are just really talented like uh, my Mark Edwards from My Dad Is Dead. He's, on, he's in the top ten on all the college music polls and that's the kind of thing that goes out somewhere else and it comes back mm -hmm. to us and it's like oh you know it seems to be that that's the way um, people in Cleveland find out about their own local music is when you see that it's been accepted somewhere else because they don't really know if it's good or if it's bad here, you know. Or, That's funny. Or just without some kind of something going on, people really don't come out and see the music. I mean, that's why Terrible Parade really didn't play out at all in the last couple of years in Cleveland because, you know, the same 50 people would come out. We didn't have sure. anything happening, so I can't really blame people for, you know, not coming out. Sure. Well, you, you know, it's really interesting. Unfortunately, I wish we could talk about this for hours because it's possible to do that. I'm sure we, we could, yeah. I'm being told that we have to wrap up. That's cool. But um, interesting to note that you and a number of other bands are going to be going elsewhere to shed that light from outside cities on Cleveland. You'll yeah. be at the CMJ convention in New York. Yeah, thanks to Jim Clevo, who is Cleveland's biggest music fan. Thanks, Jim. You're a good dude. Um, <laughs> he's by himself. He's arranged... Um, uh, Cleveland, or actually all Ohio, showcase nights, night or nights in New York City at some of the showcase clubs. He's got a booth at the CMJ convention, mm -hmm. which will feature um, a 16-track CD, 16 different bands with different That's teams great. on them, and uh, it's gonna. I've heard the songs of the other bands and stuff, and it's gonna sound great. It's gonna be given away as promotion up there, so. Go to New York and pick up your copy. Say you're with a band. Say you're with a magazine. Do something. <laughs> or 
and this is even more important, show up to the gigs that are promoting the CMJ package. Yes. Because there you will be able to buy it, there you will be able to help out the local bands who need the money. Good for you, Alan. Yeah. I'm glad to see that you're involved in that. Yeah, that's All fun. Right. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks, we'll have Chris. to have another one of these conversations. Yeah, we could go well, on I got for a long bit time. more to tell you. <laughs> Good. Okay. Thanks for being with us, Alan. Good luck Thanks, in New York. Sir. Thanks. This has been Tracy Benson with.